子，他在他的书上这样说。Uh, Confucius, a very famous uh, teacher in Chi Chinese history, once said in his writings, 他说, 无时有无, 而自于学, 三十而立, 四十而不惑, 五十而知天命, 六十而耳顺, 七十而随心所欲不欲局, 他意思就是说, 我在十五岁的时候呢, 开始致力于学问的追求, uh, When I was at the age of 15, I determined to, uh, to uh, Commit myself to studying. And I, when I was 30, I was able to be independent and to be able to uh, uh, establish social relationships. Uh, when I was at the age of 40, uh, I was never at a loss. 我一生要走什么样的道路? When I was 50, I was able to see clearly the path for my life. 在我60岁的时候, 我就应该要知道, 我听到人家讲什么话, 我就知道他是真的还是假的. And when I'm at the age of 60, I should be able to discern uh, the words people say, whether they are true or not. 到了70岁的时候, 我能够随着我的心意, 我想做什么就做什么, and when I'm at 70, I should be at the liberty, I should have the liberty to do whatever I like without uh, uh, transgressing against the law. 孔子在叙述他的人生学习修养的过程。uh, Confucius described uh, the pros progress uh, in his uh, personal growth and cultivation. And he believed that as time uh, progresses, one uh, should uh, continue to make progress, make, make improvement. Uh, but you can never reach uh, perfection in your uh, learnings or your personal growth in just a day or two. Uh, rather, you need to uh, undergo a long period of practice and learning. Confucius believed that the highest state of a person is when his uh, thought and his speech are consistent. 你好的道德的规范在不知不觉当中,你就能够行出来. Uh, and a person would be at ease in uh, carrying out uh, his moral values. 而不是勉强的,而不是受到人家的一些压迫你才去做的. Uh, uh, his conduct is not... Uh, uh, being, um, it's not contrived or coerced. 我想在我们信仰的... I think this also applies to our walk of faith. As time passes, uh, and as we go through a period of time in our faith, and as we have learned uh, from the word of God, the truth for a period of time, uh, we should continue to grow uh, in our faith as we as time passes. Please turn to Hebrews chapter 5. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12. Hebrews 5 verse 12. Hebrews 5 verse 12. 看你们学习的功夫本该做师父, 谁知还得有人将神圣言小学的开端, 令教导你们, but though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God, and you have come to need milk and not solid food. 十三节, Verse 13. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. 十四节, 唯独长大成人的才能吃干粮，他们的心窍习练的通达，就能分辨好歹了。Fourteen, but solid food belongs to those who are of age, of full age, that is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil.圣经说，看我们在学习的信的啊信仰的过程，已经有一段时间了。The Bible tells us that uh, by this time you uh uh you have already made 
you should have already made progress. We should be teachers. We should be but still, many people are like infants. Uh, they are still uh, at, uh, at the very beginning of their faith. And the Bible tells us that everyone who partakes only of spiritual milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness. Uh, we have uh, gone through many uh, spiritual uh, disciplines and sh should have being skilled uh, in our understanding. So we should be mature spiritually. A mature Christian or believer uh, can discern right from wrong. He should be skilled in the word of righteousness and not be deceived. So so let us no longer be infants spiritually. If we are able to examine our own uh, life and our own learning every uh, now and then, just as Confucius examined him, himself every 10 years. Uh, if we can examine ourselves in terms of our expectations and our growth uh, spiritually, uh, we, I believe this will be very beneficial for our faith. So this morning I'd like to share with you the topic, the year of being unperturbed. What does it mean to be unperturbed? Uh, uh, first, it means uh, being able to discern right from wrong and uh, uh, true from false. Uh, Confucius wrote, that he was able to make discernments as soon as he heard what people thought. Told him. He was able to tell the meaning behind the words people said. In this world, there are many uh, truths that are not really truths. And this also happens in the uh, spiritual uh, realm in the end time. Uh, there, are there are many things people say that seem to be very true. But we have to examine these words very carefully because they can be full of traps. Therefore, we need to be mature spiritually. We need to be firm and strong in our faith. Only then can we discern the teachings we hear, whether they are true or false. Uh, whether they are right or wrong. Please turn to Philippians chapter 1. Philippians chapter 1 verse 9. Philippians 1 verse 9. And this I pray that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and in all discernment. That you may approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ. Paul always prayed for the disciples. He prayed that their love may abound more and more in knowledge and in all discernment. And uh, that they may, uh, after they are mature, they can discern right from wrong. We need to ask our Lord Jesus to give us the wisdom to discern right and wrong. 
and not be swayed. Some people are swayed uh, by human relationships. This person is my relative, and I like this person. Uh, I have a very uh, deep friendship with this person. Or this pastor has done many good things for me. We should also not be swayed by people's fame. 今天在世上有很多人, 有的名人, Today in this world, many celebrities have a lot of fans. Uh, or uh, uh, the movie stars have a lot of uh, fans. 在政治上有很多人有自己的见解, and uh, political, political advocates also have a lot of followers. 但是我们经常看到这些粉丝, 这些追随者, but we see that a lot of these fans uh, oftentimes are blind. 对于他所追随的人, 不管他说什么, 总觉得都是对的。嗯, uh, they always uh, support whatever their leader says, whether it is true or not. 不管他说什么都是好的。Whatever the leader says, uh, 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 they, they always uh, say yes. Uh, so they are often blind. And they are not able to discern. But today, uh, in our spiritual pursuit of faith, uh, of the word of God, we should not be followers of anyone else. The only person, the only one we should follow is our Lord Jesus. Uh, we need to follow the teachings of the Word of God. Please turn to Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13. Ephesians 4, 13. 只等到我们众人在真道上同归于一，认识神的儿子，得以长大成人，满有基督长成的身量。Till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. 十四节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。14节。
and the church council member noticed that even the young teenagers in church uh, 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 liked the posts. And the council member was very surprised because what this brother wrote was wrong. So he approached these uh, younger uh, teenage brothers and sisters. He asked them, do you understand what this brother is posting? They said, no. If you don't understand what he wrote, why do you even like it? And they told him, well, he's a very good writer and he writes very well. We must be very careful about the things we see and hear. Colossians warns us, unless we be taken captive by the absurd doctrines. And these doctrines are not according to Christ, but according to uh, the principles uh, and the thoughts of this world. Therefore, Colossians we, uh, teaches us to be rooted uh, in our Lord Jesus Christ and be strong. Therefore, being unto uh, perturbed, first of all, means to, to be able to, to discern what is right and wrong, true and false. 第二个, Next. Uh, being unperturbed uh, means to be able to tolerate and accept uh, words that may, uh, that may not be pleasant. Uh, uh, according to Confucius, when a person is 60, he should be able to tolerate uh, words that he may not like. Uh, there is a Chinese saying that uh, helpful words are often uh, unpleasant. Uh, uh, we need to grow to a point where unpleasant words no longer feel unpleasant to us. Uh, uh, by the time you are 60, you should be able to uh, uh, not be uh, perturbed by uh, words, uh, uh, favorable words or unfavorable words. And when you're criticized or when you're judged, you don't need to uh, think about it too much. You should feel at peace. If those words are good uh, constructive uh, criticisms or suggestions, you should consider them. And if their criticisms are off, then you just need to remind yourself never to become like them. Uh, young people tend to be more vigorous. Uh, I was like that when I was young. Uh, I got mad when people said unpleasant words to me. Uh, and when I disagree with somebody's comments, I would argue with them. Uh, so and because of that, there was much uh, friction. Because I tended to dispute uh, with those uh, whom I disagree. So, uh, uh, and when I disagree with what my wife said, I would get into an argument. And I felt that I was the personification of justice. And when I saw people violating uh, 
uh, breaking the uh, traffic laws, I uh, felt that I, if I were the police, I would uh, 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 mm, uh, give them a ticket right away. So, so yeah, sometimes, sometimes, and when I got into an argument with my wife, my wife would say, how come you are so bad-tempered? And I would uh, dispute, uh, argue with her. Mm-hmm. I said, even the Lord Jesus would get angry. Didn't the Lord Jesus get mad at those who were trading in the temple and even overturned their tables? And I'm pretty good already. I haven't turned any ta- overturned any tables. Human beings tend to have temper. So so you may hear such words. Uh, don't step on my minds uh, or don't cross my path or else you will be in trouble. Uh, and I was like that before. Uh, I felt even justified uh, when people uh, uh, cross my path and get in my way. Actually, when you are angry uh, and, uh, and think like that, uh, you are being egotistic. Uh, because you are showing your temper uh, based on your own uh, your own egocentric feelings. But your temper may not be according to God's uh, favor. And when you are so stubborn, people may give up uh, trying to change you, and they will say, uh, you, uh, you are so stubborn. And if you are so stubborn, uh, people can never change you. But you have to come to an awareness yourself. Uh, we need to always examine ourselves uh, through the word of God and through prayer. We need to change our hearts uh, through the help of the Holy Spirit so that we can become more soft and not uh, be perturbed easily uh, at people's negative words. It's very difficult to change uh, other people who are very stubborn. But through the Holy Spirit's help, we can change ourselves so that we can conform to the teachings of the Bible. Wisdom is often the accumulation of experience. After much experience and discipline, we need to continue to accumulate our, our spiritual experience. Uh, whether we make mistakes or run into trouble, uh, we need to learn from them and grow. So, uh, James chapter 1, verse 9 tells us, uh, chapter 1, verse 19. Uh, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak. Slow to wrath. We shouldn't be quick to get angry as soon as we hear what people uh, say about us. We need to learn from the word of God and be patient when people say the word of God and be patient when people say unfavorable words. 人家在人家所說的逆言的話,我們也不會覺得太大的反應。And we need to learn so that we would not overreact uh, at people's unfavorable words. 也是也就是我們要逆來順受啦,人家所生活當中,人家所講的,我們所遭遇到的,雖然有很多不是我們所願意的,但是我們要能夠學習接受。
So even when things or words don't go our way, uh, we need to learn to uh, be at ease. 有的时候我们会开车到了这个呃购物的广场。Sometimes we drive to the mall. 啊，我们如果这个车位都满了，我们真的找不到一个位置。And all the parking spots are filled, and we can't find a single uh, parking space. Wow, you see, see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, and just at that moment, you see somebody backing out, and you're so happy, and you're waiting for that spot. But that person who just came out, there's another person who's faster than you, who's going to get you into it. But as soon as that car backs out, another car is faster than you and uh, drives into that space. Wow, you see, 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 When I was younger, I would get off the car and reason with that person. You didn't see that I was waiting all along. Now, 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 now Maybe he has diarrhea and has to go. Car is parked on the high speed road. It's not so fast. 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 It's not so 我们要学习淡然处之，不要太觉得太 serious， 觉得太严重。呃、uh, ，and uh, we need to、uh, learn to let go and not be too、uh, always so serious about everything。许多的事情跟道理都是没有关系的。Because many things in life don't really pertain to the truth。但是对我们个人灵修是有关系的。Uh, but they can help us train ourselves spiritually。因为你所表现的是展现出来你在属灵上面。Because your conduct will show uh, your level of spiritual uh, maturity. So, 所以耳顺代表第二个意义就是能够容忍逆耳之言。So the second meaning of being unperturbed、uh, is to be able to be at ease when when you hear unfavorable words. 第三，耳顺代表是什么意义 ？What is the third meaning of being unperturbed? 耳顺，我觉得代表的就是心顺。I believe it means.、Uh, To letting our hearts be submissive. 就是我们从内心里面真的，从内心的深处来顺服神的带领。That means to be submissive to God from the bottom of our hearts. 在以前我总对着对觉得我遭遇到不顺不顺我心意的事情呢，会耿耿于怀。In the past, when I had difficulties in life, I Could never let it go. Ah, 会有很多的遗憾呐，甚至晚上睡觉还在想就睡不着。I would always feel very regretful and could not sleep at night. 不明白为什么我会遭遇到这样的事情。And I couldn't understand why something like that happened to me. 但是如果经过了一段的时间，你会学习到，其实人生呢、啊，计划在人呢、啊，成就是在神。Uh, but after a, a, a long time, after a period of time, we learn that、uh, it is man who plans, but it is God who、uh, gives the success. We men, not we, often say, "Life's plans don't keep up with life's changes." Don't we always、uh, see how changes in life are always ahead of our plans? No one ever plans for a disaster. 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 Never, uh, nobody ever plans to be sick. 没有人计划哦，这一趟出去会发生车祸。Nobody plans to be in an、uh, in an accident. 但是我们所遭遇到的这些患难意外，都有神美好的旨意在我们的身上。But all these tribulations and accidents actually are according to God's good will for us. 在二零零七年的九九月十一号，是我自己人生的九一一。Uh. Uh, in 2007, September 11th was the personal September 11th. 因为公司呃搬迁的关系，所以我去到上班了、啊，要开开很远的路。呃、uh, ，because the company relocated, I had to drive a long distance to get to work. 我要每一趟弯一趟啦，我要开至少一个半钟头，所以每天在高速公路来回要三个钟头。
I had to spend at least one and a half hours on the road, uh, one way to work. Uh, so each day I spent three hours at least on the road. After doing so for uh, six months, I could not stand it anymore. Every morning, I had to force myself to get up uh, early uh, to go to work, and, and uh, in the evening, I came home very all exhausted. Sometimes I had to even miss the evening services. 那一天,零七年九月十一号,早上,我一样拖着疲惫的身体,心松的眼睛,开车在高速公路上。On uh, September 11, 2007, uh, I was very sleepy uh, uh, while dri driving to work. 我在高速公路的最内线的地方。I mm -hmm. uh, was in the innermost lane of the freeway. Uh, 我赶着上班开得很快。because I was in a hurry, I was driving very fast. <coughs> and I did not notice that the car ahead of me was uh, braking. But when I noticed that the car was braking, it was too late. And I stepped on the brake with all my, uh, uh, all my strength. And I couldn't do anything else. 我, 我知道这个下去是连环车祸, 一个, 一个撞, 一个, 一个, I expected it to be a chain car accident, uh, and uh, I don't know how many cars would be hit. 在紧张当中啊, I panicked, uh, but the car stopped. 哇, 感谢神, Thank God. 我的车停在内线跟旁边这条线的中间, 的斜斜的, my car stopped right uh, uh, on the dividing line between the innermost lane and the next lane. I actually did not hit the car ahead of me. Uh, and I did not feel that I uh, ran into any other car. But only afterwards, I realized that the right side of my car had actually slammed into the car to my right. Uh, it, was a, it, was, it just hit the, right, the car uh, to the right of me quite slightly. And I was uh, so uh, scared, uh, and I, but I thank God in my heart. So from that car accident, I started to think uh, I sh cannot continue to live like this. Uh, I felt that the Lord Jesus was um, uh, move, uh, move, moving me to make a decision that I had, wanting to, uh, had been wanting to make. This uh, job I have been with that company for uh, close to 25 years. It was a job I enjoyed and I was pretty good at it. And the company was good to me. But since the accident, I discussed with my wife that I should not continue to live like this. So I started to plan uh, for my uh, resignation. Uh, after a couple months of going back and forth, I finally left the company that I worked for for close to 25 years. Uh, 非常感谢神离开的公司, and I really thank God, ever since I left the company, I had more time to do the things that I wanted to do. And even more unexpectedly, I was able to devote myself more to God's work. On uh, January 4th of 2009, uh, I was in a hurry to leave the house, but I could not close the garage door. 
So I felt I uh, said uh, I thought I uh, I could just close the door manually and then figure out the problem later after I came back. 但是在疏忽当中了，我用手去关这个车门的时候。But I uh I was not careful and I was like, trying to close the door the garage door using my hand. 我的手指头被车库的那个夹缝，这个缝夹到。My finger was caught uh, between a slit uh, in the garage door. When my finger was caught, that, at that moment, I thought, oh no, I'm in trouble. Uh, my uh, hands were already filled with blood. I was in such pain. I figured I had lost my finger. So I was in such pain. I quickly wrapped my hand, uh, and uh, my uh, wife drove me to the emergency room. 经过了医生的检查，我的右手夹到了两个指头。And um, a doctor diagnosed and found out that two of my fingers had been caught. Uh, and mm, yeah. 在左手呃右手。Uh, to my uh, two of my right uh, two fingers in my right hand had been caught. 左手一个指小拇指被他夹到。Mm. And uh, on my on my left hand. The uh, my little finger was also cut. 右手的这两个指头很快的，大概一两个月，它就复原了。呃 ，the two fingers on my right hand recovered rather quickly within a couple months. 但是我的左手的小拇指非常的严重。But the little finger on my left hand uh had a very bad injury. 我在手术到医院的呃手术房做了四次的手术。Uh, I went through four different surgeries. 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 I went through four different because at least I still have all ten fingers. 虽然最左手的最小的拇指切掉了一点点。呃 ，even though my little finger on my left hand got cut off just a, a little bit. 但是所有的功能都没有丧失。But I did not lose any fun functions in my fingers. 每当我看到这个深深的伤痕，我内心里面想到的就是感谢神。Whenever I looked at the very deep scar on my finger, all I could think about is uh, being thankful to God. The Lord Jesus Christ uh, even uh, spared uh, the least uh, of the fingers uh, in my left hand. And he allowed the scar to remain on this uh, least useful finger. So that for the rest of my life, I could look at it and be always thankful to God. On May 19th, uh, 2010, it was my, son, uh, my younger son's uh, graduation from university. So I was very early. 订了机票，订了旅馆，跟太太要去参加他的毕业典礼。Mm -hmm. So I had booked the airfare uh, and the hotel and uh, was ready to go with my wife to attend the graduation. 哇，那个晚上行李整理好了，很高兴啦、啊。明天一早就要坐飞机去参加他的毕业典礼。Uh, the previous night, we were all packed and very excited to go the next day to attend my son's graduation. 但是那个晚上我睡到半夜的时候。But uh, half through the night, uh, as we were sleeping, I, as I was sleeping, I suddenly felt very dizzy, and I, I was lying in bed. The whole room was spinning. I wanted to get up to go to the bathroom, but I could not stand still. Uh, I was about to collapse. So I was lying in bed, feeling dizzy the whole time. 本来想说睡一下会不会好一点。I figured maybe I just need to sleep a little bit and it will go away. 但是时间越来越逼近我要去机场的时间。
But it was getting closer and closer to the time to go to the airport. I told my wife, I don't think I can make it. Because I could not even get up. And my wife said, if you are not going, then I am not going either because she did not know why I was like that. So we had to cancel the trip. Uh, after it was uh, early afternoon, uh, when it was early afternoon, I felt a little better and my uh, wife took me to the doctor. The doctor could not find the reason. That was something that's never happened to me before. And it's never happened again since that time in 2010. And the only uh, thing I could think of about this is that uh, if it is the Lord's will, then I can do this or that. Even though we have made plans long ago and it, the plan was perfect. Yet because uh, the Lord did not, uh, it was not the Lord's will, we were not able to go on that trip. From that experience, I learned to be submissive to the Lord's will in all things. It was but a graduation day, and uh, it's just a small milestone in life. At that moment, it, I felt a lot of regret that I wasn't able to make it to my son's graduation. But afterwards, you would start to think that God had his good will. And it, it, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that much. It's just a graduation. So having gone through so many different kinds of experience, uh, spiritually, we need to learn from them. For the things of the world. For the things of the flesh. For the things external to us that do not pertain to the truth. I've come to learn not to care so much about all these things. Otherwise, you are just hurting yourself. To be unperturbed is to be submissive from your heart. This morning, we have learned the meaning of being unperturbed. First, it means uh, to be able to discern right from wrong and true from false. And secondly, uh, it means to be able to be at ease when we hear uh, unpleasant words. And thirdly, to be unperturbed is to be submissive in our hearts. May our Lord Jesus help us so that we can continue to grow through the experiences in life. Mm. Let's not wait until we are 40 before we, are, uh, we uh, get away from confusion. And we don't need to wait until we're 50 to recognize the correct path of life. And spiritually, we don't need to wait until we're 60 to reach the point of being unperturbed. Uh, we will share more about this topic in this afternoon's service. Let us sing him 425. 